This is the New York City e Prix with the team's championship at stake. We go green in New York City. And Audi now move up into title contention. It's second and third for Audi, and it is the team's championship for Audi. We have to keep pushing. Every day you don't push, somebody else is pushing and getting closer to you or getting further away. So you cannot stop working. The secret of motorsport, like the secret in life, is hard work, dedication, focus, discipline. And uh, by doing that, I'm sure we're going to be competitive in the first race. Hey everybody, welcome to Audi Sport, the home of the Audi e-tron FE05. It's cool, isn't it? But we'll see more of the car later on. You know, season four was our first year in the championship. We came in with a lot of dreams and ambitions, but after a difficult start, we managed to start getting podiums and wins on the board, and that took us to the team's title right at the last gasp in the last race in New York, something we were very, very proud of. But now, let's have a look to see what Formula E is all about. For me, it's just the whole concept of Formula E itself. I think starting with um, racing in city centers. Where the people are, where everything is going on. Having 20 drivers that are able to always fight for the win or end up last, uh, I think that's something very unique in, in motorsport. There's a lot of respect in the paddock and I feel like everyone is trying to be part of something big and, and it feels like a, like a startup. Like we all want, of course, want to win and of course you want to race, but we all want this whole thing to blow up and, and be the next big thing. Before we see the car, have a look at these. Some of the past and present drivers of Audi Sport. Here's one you might recognize, a certain Mr. Lucas Degrassi. Looks a bit younger there, don't you think? But be careful, this door, secret area, no photographs, unless you've got the special card. So what do you think? Do you like it? Love the color scheme. Looks sleek, aggressive, does everything for me. But also, one big factor about this new car is it's got a very distinctive design. When you see it, you don't mistake it for anything else. Aerodynamically, then it's got a little bit more bodywork around the front, but really, it's at the rear. There's no rear wing, just these little flaps at the back. But there is a very large diffuser here at the rear of the car, to give it that little bit of aerodynamic stability. Talking of stability, Michelin have also had to do quite a bit of work for season five, because now we don't have that car change in the middle of the race. We go from the beginning to the end on one set of tires. So therefore they've had to work with their previous tire to make sure it was durable enough to be able to achieve that. The reason we can achieve that is because underneath here, we've also got a new battery. And that battery delivered by McLaren has got double the energy that the previous generation battery had. And that allows us to go from the beginning to the end, flat out. But for us at Audi, 
Our handiwork is underneath here. Our handiwork is with the brand new electric motor, the inverter, the gearbox, the rear suspension, to make sure that we provide our two drivers with not only more power than last year, but also with more efficiency. Now, you've seen the car. Hopefully you like it. But I think you want to hear what this thing is like to drive. And there's no better people, in my opinion, to tell you that than our two race drivers. Yeah, we've been testing this car since April. Um, the new generation car, this new machine. The halo doesn't change too much, actually. I think it's, it's quite fine. You can feel it straight away, the more power, the intelligent brake system, uh, the better aerodynamics. So the car is uh, massively quicker than last year's. I think the biggest task will be to get the power down with the 250 kilowatt, that's, that's pretty cool. I think the looks of the car is just amazing. Audi has pushed the limits of uh, making it a very lightweight design for the car. Uh, I really like the, the new design that we have, especially because we have more red in it, which I think is, is a, a nice color to have. And uh, overall, the new design just looks very aggressive, very good uh, on the new car. I'm certain that the car will look good on TV. Now it's up to us to make it look fast. Everybody at Audi Sport loves competition. Doesn't matter if it was in the past with rallying, sports cars, DTM, or Formula E. We thrive on that. And as you can see, we've won a few things along the way. But in season five, we've got some new competition in some beautiful, iconic cities around and about the world. Some of the competitors we know very well. Some of them are new to the game. I think season five is a, is a big change for everyone. We have a new car, uh, new racing concept, new teams, new drivers. It's, it's a big challenge again and a big task for everyone to adapt. Uh, because we don't have to change cars in the middle of the race, of course it shows the evolution of technology, but from a sporting side, from an entertainment side, uh, I think the pit stop will be missed. So uh, they are trying to come up with different solutions to improve racing. You know, that attack mode or whatever you want to call it. Uh, where we're going to have an uh, extra power, power level in the race that we can activate while driving outside of a corner. The only thing we can do at this stage is to look at ourselves, improve in every area we can, and arrive in Riyadh for the first race as most prepared as possible. So now you know all about Formula E, and you've seen our e-tron FE05, our Season 5 Challenger, but we've still got quite a lot of work to do before we get to Riyadh for the first race on December the 15th. However, saying that, we are very much looking forward to the competition. We are very much looking forward to the new season. And we're looking forward to seeing you there as well. Bye-bye. <laughs>